Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. I'm a part-time reseller. I go to garage sales, swap meets, estate sales, wherever I can find other price items and sell them online for profit. See, I have a lot of new subscribers out there. Thank you, everyone who has subscribed. I really appreciate you. All right, today we're going to get into a few things. Uh, I want to review how I run my markdown sales on my eBay store. Maybe that'll help out some of you guys. I don't know. Just give you a glimpse into how I do part of my operations, okay? Also, we're going to go through a couple of hauls that I had. I went garage sale on Saturday and got some good items. And then yesterday, went to uh, the Long Beach Swap Meet. And I'll review those items, too. So, uh, let's start with those items. All right, guys. Here's my haul from Saturday. I went to a few garage sales. All right. So, uh, first up, I got the Saints helmet. I think I'm going to trade that to Jimmy for some die cast tomorrow at the swap meet. Okay, so I got this old golfer lamp. I paid five bucks. I saw it cost for a hundred. Uh, these lights, they're all those old uh, bubbly lights. I paid like three bucks. I think they'll sell for 20 or 30. These gloves, I got them for two bucks a piece. I think they'll sell for like 20 bucks, maybe 25 each. Next up, we got this uh, TI 84 calculator. Uh, I think those go for 30 bucks. Not sure. I don't remember. Uh, a couple of sealed medias, and then we got all these PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games. Uh, everything was two bucks a piece. Uh, the game was not in that Pokemon DS, but the case is still worth something. Uh, a couple of figurines, and then some old books, man. This old Bible right here, I think is going to do something. Anyway, uh, these fold-out chairs, they look, they look vintage to me. We'll see. If they're vintage, they'll go for like 60 all right, here's the swap meet haul. We'll just go through it real quick here. So I met up with my buddy Jimmy, man. Got some more die casts, some more of these high-end die casts. There's a petty car, and then there's some drag racing die casts. They're really cool, man. Uh, there's a Mustang. There's a couple of 69 Camaros. And that one on the bottom left was like an Escalade. They all got good sold comps for between 60 and 100. Um, these Hot Wheels right here, I gave 10 bucks a card. I think they're worth minimum 20 bucks a car. I did pay up a little bit just for the cool factor. But also, there was this air in here. It's supposed to have a tire on that back wheel. There's no tire air. Those are worth some money sometimes, or most of the time. Uh, rat Fink antenna balls. Dude, so sweet. I think I'm going to keep those. Uh, Hot Wheel bus. And then Hot Wheel mongoose. That little car right there is 164. There's eight of those in that box. Each one will go for like 100 bucks, man. This multimeter, you know, whatever. Uh, these carburetors, I gave 77 bucks a piece for. They're going to sell from 150 to 250 each. All right, man. Yeah, those are some good hauls. Uh, ooh, those carburetors. We're going to make some money on those, boy. All right, so uh, let's get into the what's sold. We're going to do a little what's sold, and then we'll jump into that markdown sale uh, instruction. Okay, first up, I have this uh, taillight from a uh, Chevy Silverado. I think it's like a 07, 08, something like that. You know, It's not perfect, man, but it's not cracked or anything. I picked that up for $10, and it sold for $50. Uh, this is OEM. Anytime I see any OEM car parts, man, I pick them up typically. All right, I bought all those pipes I was telling you about on one of the past videos. So I sold this pipe for $30. Uh, it says I paid 10 for it. I paid like 8 to $10 for all these different pipes. And it's basically just to educate myself. Uh, I had noticed some of these pipes going for big money when I was first comping them. And uh, just, just getting familiar with them, you know. It seems like the ones that are made, like, overseas are the ones that are worth the more money, like Brazil and uh, Italy and stuff like that. So you might keep your eye out for some of those. Next up, we got these uh, cufflinks. Uh, they're Swavorsky. Swavorsky cufflinks. I picked them up for, like, 7 bucks. I think they sold for 20 All right, man, if you guys know me, I love my beer. I drink 805 beer. Every 12-pack comes with a sticker. These are the old stickers. These are the new stickers. I sell the old ones for five bucks a piece, and then I throw in a new one with it. So that's free money. All right, we got these boots. They are from England. They're handmade. Crockett and Jones. Um, I paid forty bucks for them, man. It was comps like up to three hundred dollars for these boots. Um, I listed them for one eighty because they weren't perfect. They're in pretty good condition, but listed them for one eighty, and uh, somebody started throwing me offers on. Uh, I think it was Friday or something. But yeah, somebody started throwing me offers at like 80 bucks. I, I counted. We went back and forth. And then they, they ended up offering me 100 bucks. And I kind of like stalled out there for a few hours. And by the end of Friday, the day wasn't the best in sales. So I went ahead and accepted that offer. And they paid immediately. So, you know, not big money. But hey, not bad profit. All right, next is this wooden wine bottle holder. So you basically put the wine bottle in, screw it shut. And then it sits on the counter like that. Pour it. Anyway, I think I paid like 7 bucks for it. And it sold for like 17 so. It took a while to sell, too. 
would not buy that again. Okay, here's one of those old GE waffle makers. I'm going to pay eight bucks for it at the local thrift store. Uh, and that sold for 30 like in about two weeks. Honestly, I thought it was going to go for a little bit more, but um, this is what it is. Picked up this uh, tennis racket last week at the garage sales, and I paid eight dollars for it, and it sold for eighty. It's pretty sweet, man. Well, as far as tennis rackets go, <laughs> but uh, it was in really good condition. And uh, yeah, I sold like in uh, well, in about a week. Well, that was sweet. Here's another racket that sold very less impressive. This is like a John McEnroe racket I've had around for a little while. It's been in my inventory probably for, what, three months or something like that? But, uh, yeah, I pay eight. Uh, maybe it sold for 20. I, don't, I have to look at it again. All right, here's one of those games that you saw in that haul that I just showed you guys. Uh, this NFL Street, it sold for like 17 bucks. Somebody, uh, I think I put it on 10% off. It, it fell into my 10% off sale I was running this weekend. Yeah, it sold. So I had it listed for like 18 bucks, and then uh, ended up selling for like 16 But that's cool. I paid $2, so... This was actually a pretty good sale. This was like this sold like one day. I paid fifty cents for this at the garage sales this weekend. Uh, I listed it uh, Saturday afternoon, and then it sold yesterday. So yeah, it sold for like twenty bucks. So fifty cents into twenty bucks, man, that, that'll work all day. So you always hear me talk about the OEM um, service manuals. So yeah, I picked this up for a buck. It sold for eighteen bucks. Uh, it took yeah probably three weeks to sell. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but there was a lot of cassette decks. It was all country. And I think I labeled it like Country Outlaw Tape Lot, you know. And I paid five bucks for the lot, and I sold for sixteen. Nothing too crazy. We had some golf club sales, so we're gonna jump into those. Well, first off, had this i7 Taylor made, paid three bucks. It sold for uh, twenty twenty-seven. It's a Mizuno wedge, man. That's a pretty good name for wedges, and their irons are pretty good. I paid three bucks for this, and I sold for thirty. Now these next two sales for clubs. Not the best buy that I've ever made, but uh, these sold for like 30 I think I paid 16 or something, man. Yeah, but they're out, and I got my money back. Same thing with these, man. I think I paid like 40 bucks for these, and I think they sold for 55 So, I guess I was lucky to get my money back out of them. So, I, when I bought them, there were some uh, mixed comps, so I kind of took a chance on them, and I didn't work out so well for me, so. But, at least I didn't lose money. All right, here's one of those uh, robot vacuums, man. Uh... You know, it docks at the docking station and then, like, vacuums your whole house for you, supposedly. Anyway, I picked this up for twenty-seven fifty and it sold for eighty. So it took about, uh, I think it's about three weeks for that to sell. So, not too bad. So, so yeah, guys, that was that was the sales for the week. It was nothing too crazy. You know, I think it was, uh, like, 20, no, I think it was 19 sales uh, for just over, like, 1300 bucks, man. So, not, nothing crazy. I'll, I'll put the numbers right here. Let's dive into my computer here, and I'll show you guys how to run a markdown cell if you're interested. So let's do it. All right, guys. We're in the Seller Hub. This is my store, Forgotten Collectibles. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to create a markdown cell. Okay, so we're going to go to Marketing. Then we're going to go down onto the left side of the pane and choose Markdown Sale. And then we're going to hit the blue bubble that says Create Promotion. We're going to choose sale event or markdown sale. All right, first up, we got to choose our percentage off or dollar amount off. We're going to do percentage off, okay? So we're just going to do 10% uh, off here. <clears throat> select items. All right, so here you got two options. You can either select by category or you can go item by item. I like to do the item by item. It makes it a little bit easier for me. So I do select items here on this side, and I want to do I want to choose the items out of all of my inventory. Okay, you have a few, a few different choices here, but I'm just choosing all items, and I'm going to choose a dollar amount from four dollars and ninety nine cents to a hundred dollars. Okay, so everything between five dollars and a hundred dollars. Is going to be included in this sale okay so we're going to filter that out of all my items <clears throat> i'm going to scroll down a little bit and it's going to show us all the items that came up with those um uh, parameters right so as you can see i already have a 10 percent off sale going so we're not going to actually execute this i just want to go through it with you guys kind of show you how i do it all right so <clears throat> i think i have 200 and oh 346 items that qualify 
for five dollars to a hundred dollars all right so i think there's only 200 a page so let's see we're gonna do that that shows 200 items selected we'll scroll down to the bottom of that page and go to page two also or however many pages there are i think there's only one more page yeah, yeah. okay so page two I'm gonna select all those items so now we have a total of 346 items selected that's all the items in my store between that fit in those parameters right okay so we're going to confirm those selections and now it's going to give you one more time. Are you sure you want to do this, right? Basically, go back and verify. If you need to remove any single items, you can do it right here, okay? So I already know it's all good. So we'll save and review. <clears throat> okay, next, sale event name. Okay, so I believe this is just for your own reference. Yeah, it says right here, this will not be visible to buyers. Okay, so uh, save up to 10%, and we'll just name it uh, first sale, right? And that's just for your reference because when you go back to that markdown or to the uh, marketing page, it'll show you all your past promotions. Okay, so if you want to copy one of them, then you can just simply recognize the name, like, oh yeah, I want to copy that one. That one worked out well, right? So then you can just copy. I'll show you that after this here. <clears throat> so you can just name it whatever you want, just for reference. We'll just call it first S. Okay, then we're going to come down here. Now, this is kind of important. I only like to run it for a couple days at a time so I can keep tabs on everything and how good it's doing. Uh, they want you to run it for a month by default. Yeah, I'm not doing that. We're just going to run it from the 11th to the 13th. <clears throat> and then we're going to start it now. They're trying not to start it for a few hours. I'm not sure why they do that um, by default. So I just choose start now and then I'll go to like 1130 of the second day it's running. And then that's it. Okay, so now here we're going to name what we want the customer to see all right so it already says down below save up 10 percent we'll just say on most items right so then that's what the customer is going to see when he sees the sales event so then you would just uh you know make sure everything's legit double check your dates make sure everything's cool and then you hit launch and that's it man that is it so see, okay, so after you do that, if you want to check on it, you go back to marketing, and it'll give you a list of all your promotions running down here. Well, as soon as you choose what type you want. So if I go to markdown sale, it's going to show me all the markdown sales that I've had. See, I've, I've ran a crap load of them. Um, <clears throat> this is the one that's active right here. I have some other drafts. But yeah, this is the one that's active, and it works well. Hopefully that helps you guys. I use it all the time, man. Whenever uh, sales seem a little down, hit that 10% markdown sale. It usually gives a little bump, man. I, I think people really like seeing the slash in the price, man. So when you run those markdown sales, it'll show your price slashed by the percentage off, you know. So I, I think customers really like to see that. At least I like to see that when I'm shopping. I'm like, oh, it used to be that. Now it's this. Woohoo! Buy it up. So, yeah, try it out. Tell me what you think. But hey, real quick, I want to mention my buddy Woody, man, over here at uh, Reselling with Woody. Man, his channel started to get some traction, and uh, it's pretty entertaining. I I've been watching it. Uh, I, I think it'll make you laugh a little bit if you go check it out. So uh, go give it a watch and see what you think, man. Drop him a line. Tell him I sent you over there. So, yeah, guys, you know, it looks like I got a lot of new subscribers. I really appreciate all you guys, man. I hope you guys keep coming back and you tell your friends about it. Yeah, you know, guys, I, I respond to all comments. If you got something to say, you want to you reach out to me. Leave me a message, ask a question. It's all good, man. I'll respond. I'll respond to all questions, all comments. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate you tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and do a slideshow of what else sold. Appreciate you guys. Come back again. We'll see you next time.